Lines closer in the college game. Third ranked Connecticut. Number nine Oklahoma Sports Center showcase quality. Final non-conference game for each team. So much for cupcakes, huh? End of the first half. Sooners up 10. Watch Omeka Okafor. There he is. Now, you got Kevin Book out setting the high screen. And, well, Okafor doesn't really get over there. D up on the switch. Price wide open for the three. Sooners led 37-24 at half. Trying to win their 30th. Straight at the Lloyd Noble Center. Jabari Brown intercepts the pass from Mike Hayes. And then Price... He's going to go down. He's just going to get up off the deck, find himself open, and drop himself a deuce. Oklahoma up by 15. Coach Calhoun not happy with Mr. Hayes. Puts him on the bench and says, you sit there and think about what you've got. Sooners up a dozen. Price, money. One more time. They're up 17. Price, make it 20. Ring him up one more time. Hollis Price scored 33. Took nine more shots than any other Sooner. What's up with that, Coach? Shooting, you know, our, we have a very simple offensive philosophy here. Shooting is not an equal opportunity position. It's real simple. You know, your best player should take the most shots. You know, it's not a, this is not a democracy. That's how Calvin Sampson preaches it. UConn, no, they about a comeback. Ben Gordon over Evi Ara. He had 12 Huskies down seven. Less than six to go. Oakle four the glass whoop whoop for the husky seven point game he had 15 final two yukon down nine needing something tony robertson no doesn't get it to go oklahoma the rebound they got their last 14 points off free throws make the charity shots they would have 73 63. had a bad second half against bama scoreless in the second half here xavier up five outside jumper he clanked with more problems for xavier later up just one Reggie Brown, arrow here, guard West, and doing a bang-up job. Force him to the double team, does that inside. West forces it, he was just three of 15, 10 points on the night, 2.30 to go. Jamal Scott, high off the window, thank you. Takes a one-point lead, first lead for Richmond since the first minute of the game. Xavier next possession, Tony Dobbins poking it away, and ah, oh, the giant killing spiders. Richmond breaks Xavier's 17-game home winning streak, 67. 59 the final. MSU down one. Mario Austin, no. Yeah. Fights for the rebound, tips it in. He had 22 points, 16 boards. Dogs by one. Later in the first, Florida down three. Brett Nelson with a steal. One of nine Gator steals around the black, floating it up. Justin Hamilton there, 22 points to lead the Gators. Gators down five. It's Matt Walsh. Takes a, well, takes a bulldog bounce, actually. Walsh, zero points in the first half. Early second half, Gators within two. Adrian Moss up to Hamilton. 8-12 from the field was Hamilton. We're all tied. Florida by one. Hamilton, not going to get it from there, but Moss is there. Six points, four boards for Moss in 16 minutes. Florida by four. Hamilton, pass off to Nelson. Three to ten from the field. Gators by seven. Part of a 15 to two Gator run. Under seven minutes to go. Gators by six. Nelson drains it. Tying a school record for threes with 242 in his career. Nelson, no look behind the back to David Lee. Gators by nine. 30 seconds remaining. Gators up four. Matt Walsh looking for space. A little kiss off the glass. Gators send the Bulldogs to their first loss since November 23rd. Illinois, Golden Golfers lose their head. Driving and the dish to Brian Cook. Maturing as the season goes along. 25 points, 11 boards. Illini up three. Then Sean Harrington, the conference's leading tray man, imposes his will. Sean Harrington, what a valuable weapon. Uh, his threes are daggers. Uh, they just come at an opportune time. This team understands how to get him involved. That's right, Raph. Three straight threes for Harrington. Illinois up two with Minnesota down four. Michael Bauer stealing that pass. And then we're going on the other end. It's a hustle play by Bauer for the tip-in. Two of his 17. Gophers down two. More Minnesota down five. Rick Ricker blocked. We'll get it back. Ricker, 12 points, 5 and 19 from the field. Gophers down three. He missed the free throw, but Harrington was just too much in this one. Great look by Harrington. He gets an open look on the give back. Wow. Dagger. Oh. Six threes, four in the second half, and Illinois wins by six. Gentlemen, start your basketball game against Mizzou. Mizzou centenary. First half, Ricky Clemens showing that Southern Idaho Juco style, giving it to Jeffrey Ferguson, Tiger, up 10 at half. Second half, Mizzou up 13. 
Ricky Clemens, is he going to miss a shot from there? Every Missouri player is going to get his hands on the ball. Artie's got it. Three, four, just keep flipping it around. And finally, Ricky Paulding will finish off the Jimmy McKinney miss. Paulding in 21 points. Missouri wins at 88-58. Now 7-0 at home. Tigers out rebounding events 57-22. Marquette St. Louis, Golden Eagles down 14 spots in the poll. After a couple of losses, Dwayne Wade. Oh, and the junior guard must go down and must go down hot. Injured his ribs, he would leave the game for nine minutes, but come back. Proof of that is here. Wade, baseline, got it. Marquette up six. Five and a half to go. Marquette still with a half dozen point lead. And Wade, he's only his team's leading scorer, second rebounding, second and assist, so they kind of need him. Wade finished with just six points, but he was out there, and that made a difference. Here, feeding Scott Merritt. 14 points for Merritt to lead the Eagles. Marquette wins at 60 54. In Coach K's words, we finished the last four years number one. This team is not that, but it is a good team. Duke and Wake Forest, the only undefeated teams in Division I, a win Wednesday against Georgetown, and the Blue Devils set up a showdown with Wake Sunday at Cameron. This is our Sports Center Showcase. Duke three and five all time against Georgetown entering this game in the first half. We're tied at five. So talented, I'm talking about none other. Chris Duhon, the football pass to Dante Jones. 22 points, 11 boards for Jones. Later in the first half, Hoy is down two. Victor Sabnick to Mike Sweetney, rim rocker. Sweetney scored 23. Hoy is down two. Georgetown in transition. Daryl Owens in traffic. Hey, Dickie V, I have a question. How did Duke take control? Well, you know, in the second half, Duke was down 48-43. And certainly Georgetown really playing well. Had their All-American Michael Sweeney presenting all kinds of problems. Once he got into foul trouble and had to go to the sideline, Duke went on a 15-1 run without him on the floor. Thanks, Dick. Yeah, Georgetown was up by three at the half, and Duke took control in the second half. Coach K, your thoughts about your point guard, Duhon? I thought Duhon was magical tonight in, in that second half and how he ran our team and got kept us together and the passes he made when we went to a couple different things to try to beat their pressure in half court and you know we got some dunks coach k's kids shot 68 percent in the second half good ball movement jones matched his career high at a career best 19 points for daniel ewing in the duke victory over georgetown in the end, Duke made it look easy, but the Blue Devs were down at the half for the first time this season. In the last three seasons, the Blue Devils have faced halftime deficits in four non-conference games now and ended up winning all four. Remember, Sunday, it's Duke hosting Wake in the Battle of Unbeatens. A college coaching note. Nolan Richardson, the third, resigned on Wednesday as men's basketball coach at Tennessee State. Richardson, the son of former Razorbacks coach Nolan Richardson, was suspended by the university two weeks ago for bringing a gun into the school's area. We segue to Arkansas, of course. His dad coached there, playing Alabama. Kennedy Winston back from an NCAA investigation, but they found nothing. Winston hits the three, top of the key. First game of the year for Winston. Six points in his college debut for the freshman. Alabama for 17 turnovers. Here's another one. Ernest Shelton gliding in. Five points, two steals for Shelton. And then I'll tell you, Kevin, are you listening to me? I'm These listening two to you always. Mo Williams, Erwin Dudley. What a combo. Mm -hmm. Sensational to watch. Dudley, 11 points, 14 boards. Alabama wins by 10. Open of Penn State visiting Assembly Hall. Brandon Watkins, he's got the three. It's a magic number. He finished with 21 points. Still in the first half. Indiana on the break. A.J. Moye. The sweet reverse layup. Now, at halftime, Mike Davis told his team that he wanted to see more intensity in the second half. Indiana by three at the half. Second half, here they come. Kyle Hornsby. Three because that's just the way it is. Hornsby had 12 points. Still in the second half. Indiana by 14. Tom Coverdale. I love this kid. Indiana wins its third straight game. Coverdale finished with 14, 78, 65, your final score. Number 16, Creighton taking on Bradley. That's Kyle Corb. He needs two three-pointers to get to 300 for his career. There's one of them. But that was his only one of the game. He's stuck on 299. Still in the first half, Corver. Jumper. Blue Jay shot just 36% from the floor, but they hold on. Corver averaging 20 points a game, had just 13, but it's okay. Creighton goes on to win 65 to 58. They improved to 12 and 1. In the Frazier household, Hampton and Maryland drew Nicholas 
For three, he had 17 points. Maryland led by 23 at the half. Second half, here come the Terps. Steve Blake, no love from three, but Ryan Randall there with the foul. He had 16 and 12. Maryland up 70 to 42. And then Blake, tasty love to Nicholas, and he dunks it because Long Island homies are the craziest. Hampton's unbeaten in the MEAC, though. Just remember that. 108 to 58, the final. Out. All about the Long Island homies. Yeah. Kevin Butter Johnson on the court for Charlotte. Butter with a finger roll. Yeah. Butter is fat. P H A T, Kev. Charlotte You're down 44 35. <laughs> Louisville pulling away. You're Eric Brown from the wing. 17 points for Brown. More of Eric Brown. Louisville 14 to 29 from three point range. Did you know that, K phrase? You're hooking me up with the knowledge. Butter right trying to answer down 11. Charlotte's problem, 2 to 7. 17 from three, Butter and Charlotte fall to Louisville, 80 to 59. USC and UCLA, the Craven twins, Eric and Derek. Late in the first half, Eric doing work. Averaging 27 points, the hoop plus the foul. He would hit a free throw. USC down by a deuce at the half. Second half, USC up by two. Watch E. Craven. Ooh, that's tasty love. 72-68, USC up. One minute and 30 seconds left. Andre Patterson got his academic world together and his game's all good, using two hands like his mama taught him. UCLA only down by four, but uh, ensuing inbounds. Roy O'Neal doesn't call timeout in time. Five-second violation. UCLA gets the ball back, but Eric's twin, Derek, Spicy Jack, that's a big and goes coast to coast. 34 points for the Craven family. USC, and more importantly, Henry Bibby gets his first win against UCLA. Well, Tennessee hosting Kentucky. Keith Bogans didn't start. He was late to a team meeting. Second half, Kentucky up by two. Bogans, Trey Punta. He had 20 and nine rebounds. Wildcats up 62-57. Tennessee fights back. Down three, SEC scoring leader. Ron Slay makes the nice little move, but kiss with the left hand. He finished with 22, one-point game. Tennessee down by one. Bogans lose the handle. C.J. Watson, coast to coast. He's fouled, counted. Tennessee up 71-70 because he missed the free throw. Kentucky down one with under a minute to play. Jules Kamara, boom by yay. 12 for Kamara. UK up by one. Tennessee down by one. Final 30 seconds. That is home. Penetrates, draws the contact. No foul call. Kentucky ball. UK added two free throws. No strange for Tennessee late. Kentucky wins on a questionable call. 74-71. Tubby and Buzz with a little love afterwards. Syracuse Seton Hall. Freshman Carmelo Anthony has won four Big East Rookie of the Week honors already. Syracuse down by four. Anthony. This is what this man does. He's got skills. Skills. Yes, he finished with 18. Got into foul trouble though later. Seton Hall up three. Second half. John Allen looking for space. Sharon to Andre Sweet. And one. Pirates led 51-45. Under six minutes left. We're tied. Jerry McNamara steals the inbounds and feeding Keith Quest Dwayne. McNamara Dwayne combined them for the last 23 points for Syracuse final seconds. Seat hold down two. Allen to Sweet. Sweet wild shot. Walked. Where's the foul? Where's the foul? Says Lewis Orr. I feel his pain right who's now. Who's also a Syracuse alum, so that's a double hurt. I mean, just like the Giants, Kevin, both playing East Rutherford. About a bad non-call late cost the game. Ninth straight win for Syracuse. Wisconsin and Michigan, second half, Wisconsin cruising up 59-44 with five minutes and 40 seconds left. Daniel Hart to Blanchard. This is Blanchard. Blanchard, another try, another three. The 14 tonight, this is Hart in rhythm. Another trip back to Hart for three. Oh, baby. Blanchard. Wow. Horton penetrates. Horton, the runner off the glass with seven seconds left. Michigan back on top. This is Harris. Harris on the drive. Had it blocked. Michigan is going to win. Michigan closes the game on a 22-6 run. They win the game. Horton has 25 points. Another thriller. Arizona has been doing whatever they want to Washington State whenever they want to. It hasn't been the other way around since January of 86. And as if the Wildcats needed some extra assistance, they got it in the return of Luke Walton. That nagging ankle sprain finally good to go. We'll see for how long. Arizona went 3-1 and one in the games without Walton. He was rusty early, turned the ball over off his leg. Cedric Huey blocked by Channing Fry, starting the fast break. Walton taking it to the hole, misses the layup, but Fry had his back. Cougars would keep it close. Marcus Moore. 
taking Jason Gardner to the hole and gets the floater to go. He had 17 and a half. Breaks a thousand points for his career. Congratulations to him. 35 in the game. Walton gets the pass down low. The move, count the bucket and the foul. Fry, miss. Rick Anderson gets the board. Sweet no look pass to Walton. Wildcats started to pull away. Here's your fast break on the next possession. Walton, great behind back pass to Anderson. Walton, nine points, eight assists. And the Wildcats win 82 69. Staying in the past 10, number 10 Oregon taking on Cal Golden Bears. Brian Weathers was a Force. Spinorama, 16.7 of 11 from the field. He also had four steals. What about Luke Ridenauer? This is sick. Behind the back to Andre Joseph. Three assists for Ridenauer, 12 points for Joseph. Ahmad Tamir. Responding to a good visual was Tamir, 25 points. Big night for his name is Joe Ship. And Ship was sailing from long distance. More of Ship off the Ducks turnover. Going the other way. Ship. 22 points, eight boards, definitely he's been lifting. And Cal stunning Oregon easily. 12 straight win for Cal at Haas Pavilion. Big 10 opener for Ohio State and Michigan State. The Buckeyes relying heavily on Brent Darby because of all their injuries. Early on, Darby from three, got it to go. Buckeyes up five. Still in the first half, here's Allen Anderson. He would make Michigan State's first two free throws. So we fire up the PIP, the picture in picture, show you how many free throws in a row Michigan State made. We'll get back to the freebies in a bit. Still in the first half, Darby hit another three, tied at 27. Second half, Chris Hill from three, the only field goal for the Spartans leading score gave the Spartans their first lead of the game second half Buckeyes down six Darby misses Darby just four of 17 from the floor later in the second half Paul Davis goes up for the shot Zach Williams and Amante Jernigan under the arrows for Ohio State they failed to box out Aloysius Anagagne gets the rebound put back and the foul Anagagne missing on the hook Anderson is there easy offensive board in the put back Spartans up nine back to the free throws. Spartans are 24 for 24. Make it 25 for 25, tying the Big Ten record. Tim Bagracos makes the second 26 for 26. A new Big Ten record with a minute 11 remaining. Chris Hill would miss the first attempt. Spartans go 29 of 30 from the freebie line, and they win. Tom Izzo on his team's free throw shooting. You'll have to give the assistant coaches credit. He said they brought guys in a little extra, and no wonder. Going against Oregon State and J.S. Nash. Nash in a season high, 13. We're moving on. Stanford's Matt Loddick. Long three from way out. Loddick, five of nine from three-point land. Then Dan Grunfield trying the lane on for size, gets it to go. Cardinal overcome a 15-point second half deficit to win. Washington, Arizona State. Arizona State by 10. Tommy Smith. The dish to Ike Diagu. 14.68 from the field was Diagu. Later in the second half, Doug Rand. Looking for space, but he is blocked by Smith. Here we go the other way. ASU breaking. In the end, it would be Jamal Hill. Two of his 14. Arizona State shot 55% in this one, and then Smith rising up. Arizona State wins easily. Smith 13 points, 16 boards, six blocks, five assists. A good night's work.